Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, September 17th. You'll be interested to know, 237 years ago, today, in 1787, 39 delegates of the Constitutional Convention signed the United States Constitution, marking a pivotal moment in American history. This foundational document established the framework for the federal government, delineated the separation of powers, and enshrined individual liberties, profoundly shaping the nation's political and legal systems. So now you know. And now, it's time for the SURF Report. Expect knee to thigh high swell on Tuesday morning with semi choppy conditions and onshore winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming more onshore in the afternoon. Wednesday and Thursday mornings will be glassy with variable winds under 5 miles per hour, turning bumpy in the afternoons. Friday morning will also be glassy with offshore winds, becoming semi choppy later. Tuesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking messy out there most of the day at two feet, but might be able to find a fair patch from nine to one. Things are looking better tomorrow. Best time to ride is at 9 a.m. with a five foot high tide, when the west northwest swell is two and a half feet at six seconds, and the onshore wind is six mile per hour. The first high tide Tuesday will be five and a half foot at 9.30 a.m. with a half foot low tide at 3.15. This morning, we'll have a slight chance of rain showers and feels like 61 degrees with eight mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 6.51 and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.34. It looks like we're in for some clouds before 11 a.m. Then it'll be partly sunny with a high near 72 and a breezy northwest wind. Tonight, expect mostly cloudy conditions with some patchy drizzle after 5 a.m., a low around 62, and light winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect patchy drizzle before 11 a.m. on Wednesday with cloudy skies and a high near 71 degrees. A chance of rain showers will linger into the night with a low around 63. Thursday brings a similar forecast with a high near 72 and a 30% chance of rain. Friday will be mostly sunny with a high near 73, followed by... Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, a former Camp Pendleton Marine, Christian Ferreri, has been sentenced to 37 months in federal prison for illegally selling nearly two dozen unserialized ghost guns to undercover officers. The 23-year-old pleaded guilty to selling 22 rifles for nearly $24,000. Authorities learned of the sales in January of 2023. During sentencing, U.S. District Judge Cynthia Bashant noted Ferrari's stupid choices and his responsibility for potential harm. Despite prosecutors seeking a longer sentence, Bashant considered his lack of a criminal record in youth, emphasizing that he was fortunate no one was harmed by his actions. Now on to sports. Last night on Monday Night Football, the Falcons edged out the Eagles 22-21 in a nail-biter at Lincoln Financial Field. Young Oku kicked three field goals, but it was Kirk Cousins' seven-yard touchdown pass to Drake London in the fourth quarter that secured the lead. 
Saquon Barkley's two-point conversion for the Eagles briefly gave them an advantage, but a missed opportunity from Jalen Hurts sealed their fate. The Falcons outgained the Eagles with 385 total yards to 365, despite holding the ball for nearly 11 minutes less. Both teams now stand at 1-1 one one on the season as they look ahead to next week. In local sports, Last night, the Padres took down the Astros 3-1 at Petco Park, powered by a strong pitching performance from Michael King, who improved to 13-9. King allowed just one run over six and two-thirds innings, while Manning Machado and Jurickson Profar provided the offense. Machado's first inning RBI double set the tone, and Merrill homered in the fourth. Profar added a late insurance run with a solo shot in the eighth. Despite allowing six hits, the Padres pitching staff held the Astros to just one run, and Robert Suarez picked up his 33rd save. Tonight, the Padres will look to keep their momentum going as they face the Astros in game two of the series. With San Diego sitting three and a half games back in the NL West, Every win is crucial as they try to secure a playoff spot. Houston, still leading the AL West, will aim to bounce back with Hunter Brown on the mound. In top news, TikTok faced a crucial court hearing today as its future in the United States hangs in the balance. Federal judges questioned both the Justice Department and TikTok about a ban set to take effect on January 19th. TikTok argues that shutting down the app would violate the First Amendment rights of its 170 million American users. The judges expressed skepticism about TikTok's claim that free expression outweighs national security concerns, given its parent company, ByteDance, is based in China. The outcome of this high-stakes legal battle could redefine the balance between free speech and national security. In business news, on Monday, Microsoft announced its board's approval of a new share buyback program worth up to $60 billion. The tech giant also declared a quarterly dividend of 83 cents per share, marking a 10% increase from the previous quarter. Microsoft plans to hold its annual shareholders meeting on December 10th. The company reported a significant rise in capital spending, largely due to artificial intelligence-related expenses, despite a slowdown in growth for its Azure cloud business. Shares of Microsoft saw a slight increase in aftermarket trading, reflecting a 15% rise this year. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $58,000. Ethereum is just under $2,400. And Solana is $131. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Resistant starch is gaining recognition for its numerous health benefits, including reshaping the gut microbiome and preventing certain diseases. Found in foods like green bananas, raw potatoes, and legumes, resistant starch is not digested in the small intestine, but instead ferments in the large intestine, feeding beneficial bacteria. A study published in Nature Metabolism highlighted that consuming resistant starch can aid weight loss improve insulin sensitivity, and enhance blood sugar control. Despite its advantages, most adults in the United States consume significantly less than the recommended 15 grams per day, 
primarily due to a diet high in processed foods. Entertainment news. This October, prepare for a chilling experience as A24's Eerie series brings unsettling films back to Regal Cinemas for a limited engagement. Each week, horror fans can enjoy a classic for just $8. The series kicks off on October 1st with The Killing of a Sacred Deer, featuring Colin Farrell and Nicole Kidman. Following that, on October 8th, a ghost story returns. The Nick comes at night on October 15th. The series concludes on October 29th with a fan favorite Hereditary, starring Tony Collette. Tickets are available now on the Regal Cinemas website. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American blues musician, B.B. King. And he said, the beautiful thing about learning is nobody can take it away from you. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.